Season 7 of Outlander is on the way, and the good news is that we won't have to wait long for more adventures with the Frasers. Of course, they will face difficulties, not the least of which is the Revolutionary War, which will undoubtedly change Claire and Jamie's lives forever. So much for living a peaceful life in 18th century North Carolina. Claire found herself in grave danger by the end of Season 6, with the rest of the family, including Jamie, young Ian, Bree, Roger, Fergus, and Marsali scattered across the land. So here is everything you need to know. Who will appear at Outlander Season 7? Season 7 of Outlander will focus on events from author Diana Gableson's six and seven books in the Outlander series, A Breath of Snow and Ashes, and An Echo in the Bone. Because of a long time between seasons, Hewan faced a unique challenge. He had to stay in Fraser shape during the off-season. Thankfully, it sounds like he succeeded. I think it's safe to say that I can't stop training. I just love it. I used to do marathons and triathlons because I was more into endurance sports, but Outlander got me interested in more gym-based workouts like CrossFit and free weights. I enjoy it, he said. At the start of the series, the first conversation I had with the trainer was that Jamie was not in the gym. He's a farmer and a warrior so we tried to build Jamie a body like that when he was younger. There were a lot of compound lifts to strengthen and condition, but the majority of them were upper body, back and shoulders. Fortunately for me, it wasn't about getting a six pack, so I don't have to worry about that. He's a very capable man, so we had to build a body that reflected that in accordance with the time. We now know that a character from Outlander season three will return for the upcoming season, though the role has been recast. Laura Donnelly played Jenny Murray in previous seasons, but Kristen Atherton has been announced to take her place. Donnelly's absence was attributed to scheduling conflicts. She has recently appeared in The Nevers, as well as in Marvel's Halloween special Werewolf by Night, and she may have to do more in the MCU. Gilas Duncan, Lottie Verbeek, Brian Fraser, Andrew Whip, Dougal McKenzie, Graham McTavish, and Ian Murray, Stephen Cree, Joan McKimmy, Layla Burns, and Lohair Fraser, Nell Hudson, are among the other former characters confirmed for the upcoming season. Some of these characters have previously been killed off on the show, as you may have noticed. Showrunner Matthew B. Roberts has teased how their returns might come about. One of our epic story's many joys is the element of time travel, which allows us to revisit some of our favorite characters in different times and places. And we're thrilled to welcome back so many familiar faces for season seven, he said. But it's not just the familiar faces. Loria Obiano as Mercy Woodcock, Rod Hallett as Benedict Arnold, and Chris Fulton, Bridgerton, as Rob Cameron are among the newcomers. We're excited to welcome several new actors to the Outlander family and cannot wait to introduce them to fans in our extended season, Robert said. Alex Vlahos hinted at his return to the show and what it entails. It can't be over for Tom and Alan, he said. So, you know, Alan's journey on that there's so much more that we shot that didn't even make it into the show, which is unfortunate. The Christie's journey isn't over. He's a puppeteer. When people meet him, he may appear dim or simple, but I believe he's malicious. He's a puppet master. In May 2022, a new cast member was announced, putting a face to one of the franchise's most anticipated characters. Outlander will feature Charles Vandervaart as William Ransom, Jamie Fraser's secret son. In the novel, William, the ninth Earl of Ellesmere, is completely unaware of the truth about his birth father because he was raised by his stepfather, Lord John Grey. The Hunter siblings from the books will also be introduced in the new batch of episodes. Izzy Michael Small from Never Let Me Go will play Rachel Hunter, and Joy Phillips will play her brother, Dr. Denzel Hunter. When young Ian arrives at their farm with a sick and injured William Ransom, their lives are forever altered. Denzel has studied medicine and intends to join the Revolutionary Army as a surgeon, whereas Rachel is modest but displays a fiery spirit that young Ian and William admire. What will happen in the seventh season of Outlander? Season six of Outlander ended with some major cliffhangers that will undoubtedly be addressed in season seven. Claire is imprisoned in Wilmington and may face charges in the death of Tom Chrissy's daughter, Melva. And if she's found guilty, she'd be sentenced to be hanged. Meanwhile, Jamie has just been rescued from Richard Brown's Committee of Safety. Jamie is now en route to Claire's rescue with young Ian and John Quincy Myers, presumably planning another prison break. 
The seventh season must also reveal who murdered and what time traveler Wendigo Donner's reappearance means for the Frasier family. There's a lot more danger in store for the Frasiers. Season 6's finale hinted at the nation's growing unrest as Claire arrived in Wilmington, and Season 7 will show the Revolutionary War looming ever closer to Frasier's Ridge. An echo in the bone, Diana Gableton's seventh novel, is set between 1776 and 1778. On July 4, 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed, and the war lasted until 1783. Fans of the books will recall that the Fraser family is drawn into the war, and Jamie finds himself on the opposite side of Lord John and Lord John's son, William. A new family member will also join the fray. Brienne announced her pregnancy with her second child in season six, which could lead to big decisions for her and Roger about where they want to raise their growing family. When will Outlander season seven be released? There is some good news and some bad news. The good news, or to be honest, great news, is that Outlander season seven will premiere on Friday, June 16th. Even better, the seventh season of Outlander will be twice as long as season six, with 16 episodes. The bad news is, that those 16 episodes will be split into two parts, with the second half of the season not being released until 2024. Prepare for another Droughtlander, people. At least we know that the two parts of season seven aren't the end of Jamie and Claire's love story. The show has been renewed for season eight. Yay! That will, however, be the show's final season. Boo! Outlander has won the hearts of audience around the world for nearly a decade and we're thrilled to bring Claire and Jamie's epic love story to a proper conclusion," said Catherine Busby, star's president of Original Programming. However, before we close this chapter, there is still plenty of their passionate story to tell over the course of 26 episodes, as well as even more to explore of this dynamic world and its origin story. The 26 episodes Busby mentions in her announcement are the 16 episodes of season seven, which will air this summer and in 2024, followed by a final 10 episodes of season eight, which will air in late 2024 at the earliest. But don't be alarmed, not one to disappoint, Stars has confirmed the arrival of the upcoming series, Outlander, Blood of My Blood, a 10 episode prequel about Jamie's parents, Brian and Ellen. That has just been given the go ahead to begin production, but there is no word on casting or when it will begin filming. To summarize, fans of the show can be confident that production is underway and we can look forward to seeing more of Claire and Jamie's adventures in the near future. That concludes today's video. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to our channel for more updates on Outlander Season 7 and other TV shows. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.